here we will discuss the postulates of the quantum mechanics and as we know that these postulates in quantum mechanics are based on the experimental observations and these postulates are used to, to extract the quantitative information regarding the system we cannot uh, drive these postulates but uh, with the help of this these postulates we can develop the quantum theory by considering minimum set of the experimental observations and uh, the theory based on these postulates not only works what works extremely well in term of the explaining the experimental results so we know that in quantum mechanics we have five postulates we will discuss one by one and first postulate is represent the state of of a system this is first postulate and this postulates tells about the that the state of any physical system at a given time can be represented by state vector and in term of diag notation we can denote this state vector with this symbol psi of t this is cat or you can say this is cat in the hilbert space and this state vector contains all possible informations or you can say desired information regarding given system and if we have if uh, the two state vectors supreme pose if we say if two or more state vectors supreme position a supreme pose then the resultant is again a state vector and state vector and which also belongs to hilbert space so this is regarding the first postulate and second postulate is related with the observables and operators
we will define here observable or we also call dynamical variable so in order to define it every physically measurable quantity for example i denote it with the symbol o every physical measurable quantity is known as observables or dynamical variables and there one more thing is their corresponds a hermitian operator i will denote here with O cap. This will represent the Hermitian operator. Whose eigen vector form a complete basis. so this is regarding the second postulates of the quantum mechanics and we third we have measurement and eigen values of the operators so when we during the measurement measurement of an observable which we denote with this symbol o the measurement of the pole a o is obtained by the action of operator and by denote here operator with o cap operator by the action of operator on a state vector which we denote with this cat and we can write in term of equation that this is operator when it act on this cat that is a state vector i write a n this sin will represent the another state
so the result of this measurement we are getting one of the eigen value this is en and this is one of the eigen value equation type so the you can write here the result of measurement of observable o on the state vector which is psi t this cat is one of the eigen value that is en and one more thing we have noticed this represent the psi t this cat vector represent the state of system before the measurement but during the measurement we notice that the state of the system is changed to psi n this so this is change during the measurement so you can see that this also <coughs> reflect that the state of the system is changing during the measurement so this is the third postulate and another postulate is fourth one is fourth postulate is probabilistic outcome of measurement so for example we have discrete system or discrete spectra so the in this measuring when we measuring the observable observable o of the system in the state which we can represent with this cat the probability of obtaining one of the eigen value that is the en of the corresponding operator is written as represent the probability and there i will represent the inner product and this is the norm of the vector and this value comes out to be by simplifying 
million square so this is regarding the fourth postulate and the last is fifth postulate related with the time evolution of a system so the time evolution of a state vector which we represent with this cat of a system is or can be can be expressed in terms of time dependent Schrodinger equation in that we can write eta uh, h curly psi t y curly t we have this hamiltonian and this we will call hamiltonian operator and this represent the total energy of the system of the system so this is all about the the postulates of the quantum mechanics